Hello, I owe you one more Square Line Studio tutorial. Yes, in a, yes, I previously mentioned that I would make Square Line Studio tutorials only for boards with touch display. However, I decided to show you how to export user interface made in Square Line Studio to uh, LilyGo T Display S3. A few people requested this video, and I know many of you already own this board it is quite affordable so more people can benefit from it this is interface made in square line studio and it is just a demonstration project here i have a light sensor that will change the value of this label and this arch widget and here is also sound sensor this is microphone and sound level of sound can be seen here i do miss working on breadboard project before i continue with the tutorial i'd like to say a few words about our sponsor pcb way PCB Way is my longest standing sponsor and has consistently supported my project with free PCBs. This LED module is also designed by me, made by them. Over a couple of years I used their, their service many times. For example, these PCBs are used for display S3 great quality and for example these modules yes I miss <laughs> breadboard projects in addition to PCBs uh, they also offer 3D printing services, PCB assembly, CNC services and more. Feel free to check out their website. Now we will continue with the tutorial, but uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you want to support my work, you can always buy me coffee, link is in the description. So, if you want to export Square Line Studio to your board, your board needs properly needs to be properly installed in Arduino IDE and in your PC. Uh, I still see that uh, some people have problems, so I will briefly uh, explain how to install board. Basically, on a on product site, you will find their GitHub and you need to follow these instructions so basically you need to download hold this repository and you need to copy libraries find here in lib folder all these libraries you need to copy in your arduino libraries folder keep in mind that you need to choose ESP32 S3 module and you need to have these settings flash size 16 megabyte partition 16 megabyte OPPS RAM and all this information you you can also find here and of course um, make sure your you can go to board manager and write ESP32 and make sure your ESP32 version is less than 3.0 when you install ESP32 it will probably install a latest version which, which is 3.04 but with this board you need to have a lower version than 3.0 so you can use 2.70 now when your board is installed you will need folder for your project i will make folder on my desktop yeah i will call it first 
Square Line Studio. Make sure your folder have the same name. First, Square Line SLS capital letters. Inside that folder, I will make another folder which will be UI. In that folder, we will export our Square Line Studio files. And here we need to put our code. I prepared template for you which will do basically all the job. Uh, in the description you can find this link and we will need those three files. You will download that zip file and you will extract those three files and you will copy them to your to your first ls sls folder not here in the root of folder so here we have our our arduino file and he will here we have files that will help us to to begin LVGL and initialization and other stuff. Next, we need to open Square Line Studio. I will go create. I will go to Arduino and I will need to choose Arduino with TFT SPI. Here, I need to set my project folder, which is on desktop and name is first square line studio resolution is 320 by 170 color depth is 16 bit swap and theme is dark and now now i can go to create Here I can add some widgets, for example, here is button, maybe some label, maybe some spinner. Square Line Studio don't have primitive uh, graphics um, shapes here, but practically you can do all the, those things, all those lines as, and rectangles with panel. So I will choose this panel. I will choose background, background color. So for example, white. I will choose radius, so roundness of this to be zero, and I don't no can you see but here is some kind of border so i will choose border zero so now i have nice line nice elements which will make my user interface <laughs> better looking okay maybe not this line how to make circle it is the same you made panel which have same width and height and you can put radius here 50 50 so here can be 25 and we have circle i can remove border and i can choose some color Now, before exporting, we need to go to project settings and we need to make sure that here we have market flat export. So export everything in one folder. Now I can go to export and create export UI files and it will ask me where I want to export and I want to export it in my folder 
first LSS, but in this we can see some new folders created by Squareline Studio, but at the beginning of tutorial I made this UI folder and inside that UI folder I want to export my files. Now I will go inside my folder. Each time I'm exporting something, I will need to copy these files back to root. So next step was to go here to copy these exported files and to copy it here. I'm doing this because every time we export files, uh, Squareline Studio delete content of the folder. So we can't directly export in this root folder because our code would be erased, deleted, sorry. So every time you export, before uploading code, you will need to copy these files in the root, replace file. Now we can run our code. So make sure you choose ESP32 S3 module, you choose port, flash size 16, partition shame, this one, and OPPS RAM. If we check the code, we can see that it's pretty basic. We will init our LVGL, we will init our user interface, we will reduce brightness to 50 to 45 percent and we will in loop we will have task handler which will handle our inputs and outputs and now we can upload this and now we can see we successfully exported our Square Line Studio user interface to T Display S3. That's it for today. Please uh, check my other Square Line Studio uh, Square Line Studio tutorials to see how to interact with touches or buttons or how to change text on a label and other stuff. Thank you, have a nice day, goodbye.